six points is there's nothing like being a perfect mother no honey there is nothing like a perfect mother you learn you make mistakes you learn from your mistakes you get back up you keep on moving okay i don't believe in uh, perfection when it comes to raising kids there's nothing like being a perfect mother there's nothing like you know having it all together we learn every day we unlearn every day we relearn every day like there are things you were doing even as at yesterday today you might come across um something and you find out oh okay there's a better way to do this um our generation we are so big on intentional parenting and you know everybody is trying to make sure that whatever you do whatever you do you are intentionally you know imparting in your, in your kids right you're there you're present and everything so as you go along on this journey of motherhood know that there is no perfect way to do it. Find out the, the like understand the dynamics of your family. Find out what works for you. Find out what works for your kids and leave that truth. Learn that Mrs. A is doing this. What Mrs. A is doing might not fit into your family dynamics because her family is a different uh, um, entity and yours is a different thing now if you admire what mrs a is doing try to you know see if there's anything you can pick you can learn to add to yours but trashing yourself and what you are doing because you found out somebody is doing something differently and then you start thinking yours is not you know good enough or yours is not even good at all is a no-no there is no perfect way there i don't think there's any manual that's you know has it all that lists everything how to you know be a perfect mother or how to you know perfect parenting and all that i don't i don't believe so everybody learns on their journey life is per head as you live your life you learn what you learn you pick up new stuff and you get better like i said we learn we unlearn we relearn that's for me that's how i see motherhood okay it's something as i go along the way if I see what's no longer working for me, I trash it, I learn something new, I replace it with something else. If I see what somebody else is doing and I like it, I try it. If it works for me, I keep up with it. You know, there is no perfect way to do this thing. So don't kill, don't beat yourself up thinking there's a part, you have to be perfect. No, there's no perfection in motherhood. You just keep going. I hope that makes sense. But that's my sense. Number seven, you have to be selfless. Motherhood is selflessness personified like you have to be selfless it's no longer about you you have to learn to you know make yourself available for your kids at all times because they depend on you they expect a lot from you they look up to you for so much so you have to you know have that selflessness in you you have to learn to be selfless because if you're not selfless you will you you will struggle with you know being present for your children because if you feel that you can't um, do a lot of things or you feel it's not necessary to do some certain things, it will affect how your kids turn out. So you have to learn to be selfless, learn to be, you know, avail yourself to them, make sure that things are going right, do what you can within your capacity, you know, to ensure they have all they need, to, to make sure they are doing fine, academically spiritually physically health wise you know all around you just have to make sure that everything is balanced make sure that you are you are you are you are making available all they need per time right that's what i'm going to talk about on service be ready to deal with how motherhood will change the dynamics between you and your spouse <laughs> oh god like a lot of things will change once you become a mother you might you might have been a very you know um available person to your spouse but a child will just creep in and take you totally away like totally just take you away so you have to consciously you have to consciously make that effort to you know still be available for your spouse still be there for your spouse you know still create still engage in that active communication with your spouse because sometimes a lot of women just you know get lost and soaked up in the whole motherhood and you know raising the children running the home and you forget that you have somebody who's on this journey with you so you have to consciously you know create time consciously create ways 
to still interact, to still have that connection with your spouse. Don't let um, 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 motherhood take you away from being a wife. Because this is something a lot of a lot of people deal with, struggle with. Because it's quite it's quite it's quite crazy. The, kid, the child is crying. Why are you? I don't understand. I want to go and look after the child. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for this, but you have to learn to strike a balance, right? And learn to communicate with your spouse. Don't just leave him hanging there, expecting that he will he will know what you know what to do. Or after all, he knows you just had the baby. After all, he knows you have a toddler. No, some men don't. Men are not that. They are not that deep in thinking. I don't know. They're they're not just. They're not intuitive. So most of the times, you have to like hold their hand. Tell them this is this. This is why this is this way. This is what I think we should do. This is how we should do this. You get communicate with your spouse so that the fact that you're now a mother doesn't, you know, change or topple the dynamics between you and your motherhood spouse. is not automatic. It's a journey. You don't just give birth to a baby today and have it all laid out. No, 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 no. As you go along the way, you will learn new things. As you go along the way, you 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 keep discovering. Like motherhood is let's say it's self-discovery because every every new milestone every new day every new level you get to learn something new about yourself about your child about life it's a journey it's not automatic it doesn't just happen like that no being a mother is a life is a lifelong journey right so it's something you you need to take on gradually you need to go with yourself go with the flow you know no one understand your pace don't run faster than your shadow don't don't push yourself to the point where you might even break down because you're trying to be one i don't know i don't know the right word to use but it's not automatic it's a gradual process okay you learn every day i remember when i had my son i told my mother you people do not tell me the truth because all they'll tell you is how did you go and marry how did you get how are you not going to get married Bring your husband home. It's time to get married. Oh, you're married. When I go to have a child, give birth, have a baby. Nobody tells you the hard work, the sleepless nights, the pains. Oh my God. Nobody prepares you for that. You get to find it out on the journey. So you need to give yourself time. You need to follow your pace. Don't rush. Don't rush. Any challenge you come across as a mother or any challenge you encounter, you will sort it out. It might even sort itself out. So when I mean don't rush, don't rush. Take, take things one step at a time. It's not automatic. You, don't, you, you, you mustn't have all the answers from the beginning. Yeah, you mustn't have all the answers from the beginning. You learn as you go. So, pace yourself. Right? You will have, like, it will all fall into place. It's not an automatic thing. It's a journey. So learn to live your journey. Learn to, you know, go on it as it Number comes. nine. Hmm. Be careful the advice you take. Yes, on this journey of motherhood. Everybody has a solution. No? Everybody has everybody has something to say about everything. But be careful the advice you take. Learn to save information. Okay? Because some people might be sharing... Um, advice or um, solutions based on their experiences and their experience might be totally different from even the situation you find yourself that made you seek advice in the first place so learn to sift through the information you get learn to sift through the advice you get learn to sift through whatever it is you take in to practice because it might make or mar you it might make or mar your child so be careful I'm not going to dwell so much on that, but yeah, learn to save whatever information you get as a mother because most times you have a lot of ears, you have a lot of um, you have a lot of voices in your ears, you know, telling you, oh, you should do this this way, oh, you should do that this way, oh, that is not the how to do. <sighs> Just tune it down. Learn to sift through information you get. Learn to sift through advices you get. Learn to sift through what people tell you to do, how they tell you to do things. If something doesn't sit right with you, trust your intuition, trust yourself. Don't do it. If somebody says this is how you should do this, and you know deep down, you don't just feel okay. Like you feel there's something talking at you, like, are you sure this? I should I? Don't do it. Just chill. 
just chill if it's something you can approach you know a professional and talk to the person about it or find a, a professional solution please do that okay just learn to sift through information learn to sift through advices and be careful what you practice right now last but not least don't forget god on the journey of motherhood i will say that again do not forget god on the journey of motherhood like he is over it all he is he's above it all he is he's the main source <laughs> the kind of things i pray for sometimes when i hear myself i'll be like ah, hey god said this is something new. because it's if somebody hears what i just prayed for it will sound like ah, 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 i want to pray to get ball yes it keeps me going <laughs> it keeps me going like it literally helps me go by because there are things that will happen that might be so you know insignificant to 